Hi everyone, I am Shivang from techjockey.com and in this video we will talk about the Adobe XD. It is the software used by the product and the UI UX designer for creating a very uh, amazing wireframing prototype and for the website responsive layouts and the mobile applications. In this video we will cover the Adobe XD basics so let's begin. So starting with the Adobe XD, this is the interface uh, of welcome screen of the Adobe XD. So where we can pick uh, some artboards for the mobile, uh, for the web and for your custom also. So starting with the basic of uh, iPhone, I choose the default iPhone 14 artboard. Okay, this is the canvas and here is your artboard. Uh, here is the home button, design, then there is a prototype and then there is a share. We will talk about prototype and share later. So let's starting with the design. So this is the canvas where you can move it and uh, here is your artboard. So let's uh, see what is more over there. You can add more artboard by clicking over here. Uh, here are some saved artboard provided by the Adobe XD like the iPad for the web design for the mobile de uh, devices, they are very custom so, or you can uh, create by your custom sizes by typing in the width and the height, you can create more. Next we are covering uh, creating and managing artboards in Adobe XD. There are the mobile devices, some tablets and the web interface. So let's begin with the iPhone 14. So I pick, in, I pick up the uh, iPhone 14. So we are going to create something in this uh, artboard. So how to create, how to add one more artboard to your Adobe XD. So you can see over here, when you click on the artboard icon, you can see there are other devices are available by that, uh, by provided by the Adobe XD. You can choose for your design, what you want to create. So for the iPad, for the iPhone or the web interface. So I started with the iPhone. Uh, for the mobile device interface. You can add more artboard to your design also. So I am picking up the uh, UI for the website. Here is the web interface for the resolution of 1920 or you need a small resolution for the 1280p or you can pick the artboard for the iPad or the tablets. So you just click on the artboard panel and you will create according to your design. So now we are talking about the custom shapes, how to design the custom shapes in Adobe XD. So here's, here is my artboard. I am picking the rectangle tool, how to create a header. If you are designing for the mobile application, how to choose a color by clicking on the fill color from this, from this panel. You can create some shapes. and you can create some custom shapes also by choosing the pen tool. And you can customize it according to your design. You can set the radius also uh, where you can Make some curves at the corners of the shapes. You can customize it by changing their width and the height. That's it. So next we are covering how to add images to your UI. So here, here you can see it's a basic template created by me. Uh, where you can see some responsive images which is working perfectly when you move the shapes from the any corner of the from the any corner of the shape and you can see how it is responsive how much it responsive so let's begin with a clean artboard i'm creating a shape now just drop any image from your laptop 
just drag and drop over here and now you can see Adobe XD convert your any image by masking them into the shape and you can drag and drop and it is properly customized and it is totally responsive you can arrange according to your UI let's see how we can create a UI basic UI in Adobe XD so here is the basic template you can see here is the header which is created by a shape you can see by clicking on the layer panel over here and you can see it's a shape you can add some custom icons your logo and the text by clicking on the double click on the text you can change the properties of the text by choosing the font family font size font weight or you can change with the typography according to your design you can see some shapes over here you can customize it by double click on the layers change the ui by changing the size of the images by the colors you can choose the color also and some cta and you can choose the color from over here next we are covering how to make a prototype design how we can interact the two artboards with each other so let's begin there is a template where the on the left side you can see a page by clicking on any image we can see on the other artboard there is a detail about it so let's make it prototype so here you can see the design prototype so i'm going on the prototype i am choosing the artboard left artboard which is my default artboard and i am going to click on the elements which i want to by which i want to make a interaction when i click on it i will see the uh, second artboard so i am just drag this anchor to this and here you can see there is a tab and i am going to choose transition and you can see here is the another artboard which is iPad mini and you can see I want to see the animation from the slide left and now you can see you can preview your design from over here you can see the play button just clicking on the play you can see when I click on the image from the artboard one here is the animation from the left side you can create a more interaction design by customize with this panel interaction panel now uh, the final result how we can share the design with anyone by creating a adobe xd link so here is the artboard i am you can see over here design prototype and in the last there is a share button you can see over here you can uh, choose the settings some like the design preview for the basics let's begin with the design preview anyone with this link or you can change for you can choose the only invited person by email id or you can set your password also so i want i am going with the link only so let's create a link so it save all the elements on the creative cloud and making a and make a xd link for the prototype just copy the link from here and open this so this is the final result where you can share this link with anyone you can share your design uh, so this is the wrap of the adobe xd p6 hope this video is helpful for you do not forget to like comment and share follow techjockey.com on social media platform until next time happy designing